Now at 5, we continue our in-depth coverage of the marathon explosions. The chilling images will likely be etched in our memories forever as we witnessed yesterday's events unfold on television and through social media. And we wanted to know how you should talk to your children about these types of tragedies. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan spoke with a local social worker. She joins us now live with more. Well, as a mom of teens and an eight-year-old, they had a lot of questions for me, and they had a lot of different perspectives about what they saw. And as parents, we have a lot of questions, too. Specifically, where do we begin? Through the eyes of a child, imagine watching this child being whisked away in a wheelchair. Imagine what's going through your child's mind. Could this be me someday? When children ask us questions about the bombings and what happened, it's important for us to first check our emotions and to make sure that we are there to make our children feel safe. Sarah Palmer helps run the trauma center at Family Service of Rhode Island. Today, she's been on the phone nonstop checking in with her patients to make sure they're okay. She says the one thing parents should not do is ignore what's happened. You can't completely isolate them, but what you can do is talk to them to know what have they heard. And it's within those conversations you can start hearing the fears your children may have about what they've seen and what worries them. Where to start? Make time to talk. Reassure them they are safe. The more facts and information we can give our kids in an age-appropriate way, the safer they'll feel. For elementary age children, limit exposure to media sources and be aware your children are always listening. And for your teens, Sarah suggests, helping them navigate through social media carefully. You want to talk to your teens about what do you know about this? And it's a way for parents to give them accurate information. There's a lot of inaccurate information out there. Children were everywhere yesterday, on the sidelines, rooting for their moms and dads who were running, cheering on their aunts and uncles. And now their lives will be changed forever. And even if your children weren't there, they still saw. Now we have a lot more information for you from Family Service of Rhode Island. Just go to WPRI.com. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.